Hey everyone, Sheila here from Design Files. Today's video tutorial is to showcase the uh, new changes that we've made to your personal library. We had a number of requests on Design Files from designers who wanted to be able to access their personal library without first having to open up the editor. So what we've done is we've actually created your personal library as its own separate page. And you can access it by going to this option up here. When I click on that, it's going to show me all the items that I've added to my personal library, along with all the product details. So if I scroll to the top here, I can see that for each individual item, I've got a picture of the item, the name, the vendor, the price, the description, as well as the source link. So if I ever need to jump over to that uh, vendor site and just collect a few more details, I have access to that. And I can also edit the uh, details, the product details on this particular item by clicking here. So if you wanted to change up the product, the name of the item, or change up the price, because you're going to offer up custom pricing to your clients, then you'd be able to do that here. And you can also see that you can delete individual items from your product library uh, using these trash cans. Now, you'll notice that the top one has a gray trash can. And the reason it's gray is to indicate to you that you can't actually delete this item from your personal library. And the reason for that is because this particular item is currently being used in a design board for one of your client projects. So we put this precaution in place to prevent designers from accidentally deleting items from their personal library that are in active client projects. So if you did want to remove this particular item, you'd first have to go to the design board where it's included, delete it from the design board, and then you'd have access to completely remove this item from your personal library. Now while you can delete individual items from here using these trash cans, you can also choose to use these checkboxes here to delete multiple items at a time. So if you did feel like you just, you know, your product library is kind of filling up with products you no longer want in it, or you just want to kind of start cleaning things out, you can quickly remove items with these checkboxes here. You'll see that I've selected four, and if I scroll to the top, the delete button has also indicated that there are four items uh, selected for removal. So I could go ahead and delete those all now. You can also choose, I'm just going to remove these, Let's say you wanted to completely gut out this entire page of products. So instead of having to click all the individual checkboxes, what you can do is just click on this one up here. It will select every single item in this page, and then from there you could remove all of these items. Now you can also go ahead and upload items to your personal library from this view as well. So if you do have uh, products on your computer that you want to add to your personal library, you can go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to put in some fake information here for now, and we can come back to this later. So I'll save that, and it'll automatically get added to my library. Now I can come back and I can put in an appropriate uh, product name, the vendor, the description, the appropriate price, and all those details at a later date if I want to. I can also go ahead and search by individual, uh, I can search for individual items here. So if I wanted to look up all the sofas that I currently have in my personal library, I'd be able to do that. And then from here, I can browse all the product details very quickly. Uh, I can browse all the individual prices and make the best selection for that particular client project that I'm working on. So this will give you a, a good opportunity to really just kind of compare individual products and make sure that you're choosing the best one for your client. And that about covers it. So uh, we really hope you enjoy your new product library. Um, I think that it's going to be a much easier tool for you to use if you just really want to co quickly compare product details um, or prices, things like that, and just make sure that you're making the best possible selection for that particular client project. So definitely give it a go. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.